Hello and welcome back to Natalie Inspires You. Well, I can't believe it myself, but it's been eight months of consistent weekly blogging. Probably 24 written blogs and 10 inspirational interviews and one super successful live show with Shah Nasino, the celebrity from the Philippines. And I've simply enjoyed this journey. It's been wonderful. But the greatest takeaway is that today we now have a community. We now have a family. And I'd like to call it the NIY community, the Natalie Inspires the community of family. Because my updates and my shows are no longer a monologue. I look at it as a dialogue, a dialogue between you and me. And inspiration bouncing from me to you and from you back to me. I'd like to keep this long term and I'd like to make it a little more sustainable. And for that I've decided to take a little break, only to come back more inspired, energized, to come back with great inspirational stories to share with all of you and that's why today I'd like to present to you the final episode of season one and I've thoroughly enjoyed preparing it thank you to all of you who sent in uh, your testimonies and your sharings and your messages so that I can showcase it to the larger community so join me as I walk you through the last eight months with a few reminders of loads of inspiration that came your way. I began blogging by sharing my own testimony wherein I stepped out of my comfort zone having moved um, three countries in five years. But believe me, like I said, that is where the magic happens. And that's why I continuously encourage and yes, to some of you, I kind of you know trouble you also. Step out of that little cocoon step out of that little cocoon and fly like a butterfly. Come March and we're hit with the pandemic. And so I began blogging on how important it is to stay connected, to encourage one another to work as a quarantine. And most importantly, to embrace this change and grow with it. So I reached out to a few members of the NIY community and I asked them, what does Natalie inspire me to you? What a blessing it has been uh, journeying with you on Natalie Inspires You. Right from the beginning of your blog to right now what it has grown to. Um, you have been a blessing to so many women and me as well. Um, you encouraged me to come out of my comfort zone and give my testimony marvelous moms. Uh, I think Natalie Inspires has been an amazing journey that has given women a platform to showcase their love, their passions and their hobbies and for some of them and their uh, testimonies of amazing, uh, amazing hand of God upon their lives. I think it's such a, been such a blessing. You are just like the honeybee. No matter how deep they go inside the forest or how high they rise to the top of the mountains with one aim is to look for the best of flowers and the best of honey. Yes, you have unraveled the morale and confidence of so many silent celebrities near and far and in doing so you seem to grow flourish and continue to inspire hey nats it's absolutely marvelous watching you thrive in your calling what an amazing platform you have created for women from around the world to share their hearts, their passions and their lives with others. Your heart for women, hard work and love for what you do is very apparent in every blog and video. I have been truly touched hearing some of the testimonies and very challenged by some of the things you shared. You know, we had a marvelous month in the month of May. It began with um, 
celebrating Mother's Day where over 30 mums from probably uh, 12 countries around the world came together online and shared what motherhood means to them. Oh, it was so fulfilling. And thereafter, okay, not stopping at just that, thereafter we had powerful testimonies and sharings by a few mums. In Marvelous Moms, she brought out the reflection of a true mom, which is a wonder of a woman. The love story is the best I have enjoyed and been inspired. Her story brought out the true essence of love, loss and life through the white butterfly. Thank you, Thangam, for your inspirational story. You know, we had such a wonderful uh, Mother's Day celebration, but then we realized the fathers were feeling a bit left out. Natalie inspires you! Well, you know what I mean. So we followed it up with um, a beautiful, warm and happy Father's Day special in the month of June. We go going loud, baby. Three, two, one. Well, coming from a family of teachers and knowing how great and noble a profession it is, I will always remind my audience to bless all educators. I'm humbled with the responses I received when I reached out to a few asking them, how does Natalie inspire you? I'm out here today on this beautiful day only because um, I want to tell you that oxygen that these plants give out revitalizes us, right? Right. Um, you take a deep breath and you feel, wow, my energy is back. And that's what your shows do to me, honestly. Every week, every Friday, I look forward to seeing what's new because um, they inspire me in so many ways and they're so deep-rooted that they stay within. More than anything else, you, Natalie, are inspiring and motivating women to get out of their comfort zone and explore. To gracefully move and fulfill their roles, whether it be a daughter, a mother, a wife, a sister or a friend. All I can say is Natalie is inspired by the Holy Spirit. Natalie's family is an inspiration to other families. Natalie inspires and encourages other women. Natalie is an inspiration. Yes, you have inspired me in the last six months, uh, right from self-affirmations to empowering women. Thank you for being part of my life and helping me grow to a much stronger, independent, calm person uh, in this last three to four months. You have always been my inspiration, right from the time when you were part of the PTA. But that's not where it ended because once you came back and we connected once again, I want to tell you that you have been instrumental in inspiring me to start my YouTube channel. Yes, that is correct. When you first asked me to share that video for your channel, that is when you actually sowed the seed of a thought that I too should have my YouTube channel. And for that inspiration, I will be ever grateful. Thank you so much, Natalie, for inspiring me in so many ways that I can't express in words. 
It's been an awesome journey for me with Natalie Inspires. You have taken us through many important subjects in all your sessions in the past few months. Each and every subject has inspired me, especially the one on gratitude. I feel so blessed when I give gratitude. Looking forward to many such important and inspirational subjects. Yeah, I must say that you've always been encouraging to me. Uh, you've always told me in the smallest ways how I must make time for myself, knowing that I have these three little kids to look after and um, I was so much into them that, uh, you know, I forgot about myself in the smallest things I can remember, like do my nails, comb your hair, <laughs> groom yourself well. And believe me, after I've started doing that, um, yeah, it has, it has made such a difference to me. I'm so much more stress relieved. So when I also started uh, my new venture, which is the Milan Square, Natalie was the few people I messaged first and she came up, uh, she immediately called me and she was so happy with what I was doing and encouraged me with such amazing words that I really believed that, you know, I'm doing something good. And I will always remain thankful to that and I wish her all the best and I keep wishing and praying that she empowers and inspires more people like me. I love you, Max. You know, a lot of my work um, has much to do with showcasing women working for the glory of God and women empowerment. And I'm absolutely touched to see how it has truly, truly inspired others. Listen on, you'll know what I'm talking about. Thank you for being a positive influence for women like me and many others out there in a very simple, genuine and godly way through your blog, Natalie Inspires You. And I do hope that Natalie Inspires You will continue to draw us all closer to God and knowing more about ourselves as women and what He has called us to be and to also discover more and more of the goodness in life. I feel it's such a way where God wants women to celebrate their lives and He's using you to touch many lives uh, by putting together this channel and all the shows that go with it. So keep it up because uh, I think at this point of time where women are being used a lot more in their homes uh, with the pandemic, yet uh, you know God wants to bring them forth and show them their worth and their, their worth in Him, that we are not, uh, you know, a second class citizens as sometimes women are looked at, but we are children of the Most High God. It's only when we are women of God that we inspire and encourage other women to grow. So Natalie, continue to inspire. Uh, and you give glory to God constantly throughout all your uh, blogs. May you um, be blessed um, by doing this night and bringing so many closer to God. We celebrated Gratitude Week or Natalie inspires you in August and it was simply amazing. You know, doing the live show with Shana Sino, a celebrity and somebody who I hadn't met before and I was going to meet her live for the first time, truly required me to step out of my comfort zone. And I worked really hard for that for that interview and um, it has it had the greatest impact. You all know that it was such a marvelous show. There was so much that I learned from Shah. But the very important thing that I learned from Shah is how important it is to stay humble, to keep your feet on the ground. One thing that is an ongoing journey for me and the learning that continues is on gratitude. So today I would like to give gratitude to you and thank you for being part of my life. I'm grateful for you, dearest Nats. And gratitude is the most beautiful way to express all that's in my heart with two words. Thank you. Thank you for always being an inspiration to people around you. But the um, icing on the cake was gratitude, uh, one of my favorites, uh, on which uh, uh, we all uh, grew to understand how gratitude changes your life. It brings abundance and it's only through humility uh, that we have gratitude. Another very successful mission that we carried out 
was the one on supporting small businesses. I must say that it was because of your inspiration that um, I, I took this step. I reached out to a friend to make a cake for another friend in another country. So, um, you know, she absolutely didn't expect it and wow, uh, she was really, really, really impressed with the thought, you know. But it brought so much joy to all of us, the person who, who I gave the order to, the person who received the order. So, um, it, it brought about a big change in our lives, honestly. We managed to revive great memories of the Bandra Feast earlier this month, at a time wherein for the first time in living memory, the Navinas at the Mount and the Bandra Fair could not take place. So let's see who's this Nats they're talking about. Natalie, or Nats as I know her, has been one of the most uh, important and critical influences in my life. Uh, as far as my professional life is concerned, which also spilled over to my personal life. Natalie was my boss when we started working together. Uh, she has the superpower, if I may call it, of uh, bringing out the best in people. And uh, that's something extremely unique about Nats because she, can, uh, she makes the other person feel special, uh, someone who can take on the world. And um, that's something everybody needs. Everybody needs a mentor. And uh, I had that in the form of Natalie. Uh, she made me become a better person and uh, I will always be thankful to her. Cherish Nats. When I think of you, the first thing that comes to mind is love, sisterhood, forging friendships and bonds between women and helping each other rise and stand tall together. I must say, Nats, that not only now, but even before you started all this, when we just met, we, we didn't know each other that well. I mean, I just got acquainted with you through school and through our kids. I think it was such a blessing that you just came into my life. But um, yeah, I must say that you've always been encouraging to me. I know that you will keep inspiring me uh, in your own way. God bless uh, you, your beautiful family. Keep inspiring. Thank you for being a blessing in our lives. Thank you for bringing love. Thank you for bringing inspiration. And um, we look forward to more and more. May the Lord bless the works of your hands and your heart. And uh, you keep going. We look forward to season two of Natalie Inspires You. It's a blessing to stand here today being your sister, my little sis. God bless you always. Well, what can I say? Natalie inspires me every day. Has been doing for the last 28 years. God bless you, Nats. I love you. So let me end today's episode with a few snippets of inspiration for you. Inspiration helps you to achieve the dreams you've always wanted to achieve. To be inspired is one thing, but to inspire is another thing altogether. Try it. You will not know what it feels like until you actually move out and inspire other people with your actions, with your words and with your deeds. We are all on this learning path together. It's a journey of love, of gratitude, of inspiration. But in most situations, when you can choose to inspire, inspire and stay inspired.